Hi folks, so let's see how uh, local mapping and remote mapping works in Charles Proxy. So I have created a sample application in which uh, we have a table use, the data get populated from a service call. So uh, I'm gonna make use of the service call and explain you the purpose of local mapping and remote mapping. So let's begin. So once I tap refresh, a service call will get triggered. So I'm gonna tap refresh. Before that, I'm gonna make sure the breakpoint is enabled. Yeah. So I'm gonna tap refresh. Yeah. I'm gonna let the request to happen. And here is the response. I'm gonna edit this response. Something. Okay. Then. Okay, so I have edited edited the response. I'm gonna execute it. Now you can see the table data is got changed uh, based on the edited response. So uh, if we wanna work with edited response, so I can do local mapping. I'm gonna save this response actually. Okay. Uh, reset out. Okay. You can see that saved responses, and then if I okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh it again. So now you can see the data get changed. This data is from the server. So now I'm gonna add local mapping. Yeah. I'm gonna map it to the saved response. Okay. And then make sure that local mapping is enabled. Yeah, here it is enabled. So I'm gonna refresh it again. Now you can see the request got, now you can see the data got uh, changed in the table U. This is because it is getting mapped from uh, local sa locally saved responses instead of hitting the server. So we can make use of this tool when we want to automate something. I'm going to disable enable, I mean disable the local mapping. So let's see how uh, now it works. So I'm going to refresh it. So now you can see this data is getting populated from the server response, not from the local mapping. So now I'm going to explain you the remote mapping. Okay. So remote mapping in the sense instead of uh, hitting this uh, saved response, I'm going to hit a real server. I mean uh, any server that is for now I'm going to hit a www.google.com. Let me check whether a uh, map local is disabled. Okay. Okay, we can't disable it here. Okay, a map local. Yeah, it is already disabled. So you can remove that if you want. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh it. Okay. Instead of hitting the actual server, it is getting hit it to the I mean it is trying to hit to the google.com you can see that this is because I have changed that API uh, to the, the I mean I have mapped the API to uh, the Google server you can disable it over here so by this uh, we can change the response and save it and then we can map it easily so this is the purpose of uh, local mapping and remote mapping once I disabled, I can refresh and it will work as expected. So I hope this feature will be useful to everyone. Thank you. Bye.